What's up, YouTube? Back with another video here. And this one's going to be on the Tysus 1911. What do you get with it when you purchase it for the price tag, which is absolutely amazing. I think I paid like 350 with tax on this. A little more, obviously, due to getting a holster and rounds for it. But I'm making this due to a comment I saw saying that this 1911 would it go bang the same as a Colt, Kimber, and or uh, Springfield which I strongly disagree with that. Yes, I've only gotten 100 rounds due to firearms so far. It's recently purchased, still new. But what do you get when you do purchase this? Um, you get your normal, obviously, cleaning supplies, etc. You get um, a chamber lock, whatever you want to call it, chamber block, lock, doesn't really matter. Um, you get the trigger, you get the trigger lock as well. And then you also get this little tool for uh, popping up the takedown lever when you want to break down the firearm after after uh, range day, clean it up, whatever. As well as two eight-round magazines, which is, I think, standard for any 1911 you're going to purchase. The only difference with this one is obviously it's a quarter of the price, maybe half price, I don't know. But let's get down to the goods. The actual firearm itself, I'm going to obviously show you guys it's clear. Just for YouTube safety, you know what I mean? Safety precaution. Even though I knew it was clear, but still showed you guys. And then uh, my favorite thing about it is the trigger. I've shot other 1911s before, but this is just so smooth. I mean, similar to the other ones, of course, but that's, that's my point being made is that they're all made the same. Yes, this might have a little bit of cheaper metals. It might get a little more holster wear if you carry it on a regular daily basis. But for a difference, there really is no difference at all. Standard uh, back safety. You got your standard side safety. You know what I mean? Like, there's really no difference. You got the half cock, etc. Which I, I don't uh, suggest keeping it half cocked. Because then you're going to need to fully cock it when you're ready to actually get in action if ever needed. But yeah, I mean, for the price point, you cannot beat this firearm. Yes, I'm not saying don't go out and buy a Colt because it's $800 more, a little bit, a little bit more, or Springfield, Kimber, etc. But if you're going to fire the damn thing all the time at the range and you want to have fun with a 4.5, I would strongly suggest getting this exact 4.5 because you're not breaking your bank to buy something that's going to be used on a regular and it's going to get worn. Now, like I said, I only got 100 rounds through this firearm, so it's still basically a new purchase to me. But I absolutely loved shooting it. My mom, she went to the range with us her first time ever shooting. I had her shooting 9 mils, of course. But she even shot this and was able to handle it and manage the recoil perfectly fine. As well as I shoot with one hand, and a lot of you guys know that. And I was able to handle the recoil perfectly fine. Obviously, due to it being heavier and a full metal gun. But... Like I said, there really is no difference between this and a Colt or a Springfield or a Kimber. If I were to put them right next to each other, take them to the range and go and fire them all, I'm not saying that those would malfunction, but this wouldn't either. So, like, realistically, I get it. You guys want to argue about price spent on a firearm. I'm not going to say that maybe, like I said, the holster where you might get a little bit more, but why spend a couple thousand dollars on a on a different 1911 if you can get the same thing out of this and yes it might wear but you could buy four of these for the price of the one that you bought really don't make a difference but yeah i figured i'd give you guys a quick little kind of like what's in the box when you purchase it video and uh go get you one if you want i mean like i said for the price tag you cannot beat it 